Hello all. Today we will study working of single phase AC voltage regulator connected to R load. What is a AC voltage regulator? AC voltage regulator is a power converter which is used to convert a fixed voltage fixed frequency AC input supply to a variable voltage AC output. It consists of power electronic devices such as thyristor or triac. The RMS value of the AC output voltage and the AC power flow the load is controlled by varying the firing angle or triggering angle alpha of a thyristor. Now what is the application of this AC voltage regulator? AC voltage regulator, it is used in motor drive system. It is used in industrial heating and domestic heating applications. It is used in electric furnaces heat control. It is also used as light dimmers. It is used in HVAC system. It is used in on load tap changer of transformer. Now let us see construction of AC voltage regulator. The circuit diagram, it shows a AC voltage regulator. In this AC voltage regulator, two thyristors are connected in anti-parallel. The circuit consists of an AC voltage source which is having fixed voltage and fixed frequency. The source is connected to the input terminal of AC voltage regulator and the output terminal of AC voltage regulator is connected to load. Here we are considering resistive type of load. Now how this device works? So in AC voltage regulator, as these two thyristors, T1 and T2, these are connected in anti-parallel. So one thyristor will conduct during the positive half cycle of input voltage and the other thyristor will conduct during the negative half cycle of the input voltage. Now here I have shown the input voltage Vs, then the triggering pulse is provided to thyristor T1 and thyristor T2. How we are getting the output voltage and output current. So I have shown the waveforms of input voltage, output voltage and output current. So let us see how this voltage regulator works. So let us consider that this AC supply is given to the AC voltage regulator. Now during the positive half cycle of our input voltage, thyristor T1, it will get forward bias and thyristor T2 will get reverse bias. So thyristor T2, it is acting like an open switch. Though thyristor T1, it is a operating in forward bias condition, but during the initial time period, no triggering pulse is applied to the thyristor. So it indicate that T1 is also operating as an open switch. That's why there is no connection between the load and the source and no current is flowing through the load and no voltage is appearing across the load. At firing angle alpha, triggering pulse is provided to thyristor T1. With this, thyristor T1 starts conducting and with this, the load will get connected to the source and hence, the current starts flowing from source through T1 to the load. With this, a voltage starts appearing across the load. So this voltage waveform and current waveform during the positive half cycle of input voltage is shown here. Now at instant phi, the current flowing through this circuit will get reduced to zero and the voltage applied to thyristor T1, it will also get reduced to zero. And after this instant phi, the voltage will get reverse. So at instant phi, current flowing through thyristor T1 will get reduced to zero. So a natural commutation takes place in thyristor T1 and T1 will get turned off. 
from instant pi to 2 pi, a reverse voltage will get applied across this regulator. For this reverse voltage, thyristor thirty two will get forward bias and thyristor thirty one it starts operating in reverse bias condition. Again, from instant pi to pi plus alpha, no triggering pulse is provided to T2. So it is also operating like an open switch and there will be no connection between the load and the source. At instant pi plus alpha, triggering pulse is provided to thyristor T2 and T2 will get turned on. With this, the load will get connected to the source through T2 and current starts flowing from source through load through T2 back towards the source. Now, during this operation, the direction of current flowing through load will get reversed and the voltage applied across the load will also get reversed. So the voltage appearing across the load is reversed and the current flowing through the load is also having a reverse direction. Again, at instant 2 pi, the current source current and source voltage will get reduced to zero and a natural commutation takes place in thyristor T2 and T2 will get turned off. Again, from instant 2 pi to 3 pi, a positive half cycle is appearing across the voltage regulator. And with this, a same operation will be continued for the next period. Now, what we are observing here, if we increase this firing angle from zero till omega t equal to pi, with increase in the firing angle, the instant at which we are providing triggering pulse will get increased. And with this, the average output voltage appearing across the load, it will go on decreasing and the average current flowing through load will also get reduced. If we decrease the firing angle, if we decreased it towards the zero degrees, then with this, the instant at which the firing angle or triggering pulse is provided will get reduced. And with this, the average output voltage across the load and current flowing through load will get increased. Thus, by controlling firing angle alpha, we can control the average output voltage appearing across the load and we can control the current flowing through the load. And in this way, this particular voltage regulator is converting a fixed voltage AC supply into a variable voltage AC supply. Now, let us see the equations for RMS value of a load voltage and load current. So the RMS value of a load voltage, it is given as square root of one upon pi integration from alpha to pi Vm sine of omega t square d omega t. If we simplify this equation, then we are getting the equation of a RMS value of a load voltage as Vm upon root 2 into square root of 1 upon pi into bracket pi minus alpha plus 2 sine alpha upon 2. Now, in this equation, Vm upon root 2 is a source voltage Vs. So, we can write the equation for RMS value of a load voltage as VL equal to Vs square root of 1 upon pi into bracket pi minus alpha plus sine of 2 alpha upon 2. As the load connected here is a resistive load, so the current flowing through the load is calculated as VL upon R. So uh, we'll get the current flowing through load as Vm sine of omega t upon R. And we can find the RMS value of this load current with the equation. Vm upon root 2 r square root of 1 upon pi pi minus alpha plus sine of 2 alpha upon 2. Or if we take this square root inside this square root, then il becomes equal to Vs upon r square root of 1 upon pi into bracket pi minus alpha plus sine of 2 alpha upon 2. So in this way, we will get the equations for RMS value of low voltage and low current. So this is all about working of single phase AC voltage regulator connected to R load. Thank you.